Hold on. Hold on. You will be amazed. Welcome. The Gamer Man's Lounge. Awaken to play. The Lounge recommends you a game, and it's Fireworks Mania. This game may be a bit rocky in optimization because Unity Engine, but it stays strong as a Unity Engine game impressively. This sandbox simulator game just tells you to screw around with fireworks. Channel your inner Yoimiya and set off those blazing spectacles in the sky. Also, with destructible environments, your experiments may create chaotic results depending on how crazy you get. This fireworks simulator is really good fun. Add in the community modding support, and you get shenanigans that are endless. This one's a worthy download. Hopefully things are going well for you guys. As for me, welcome to the Gamer Man's Lounge. I am Lord Gamer Man's of this lounge, so let's talk about winter because winter is making its uh, farewell right around the corner and after that spring will see its beginning and as spring sees its beginning the weather will become more warmer though uh, we had to deal with the freezing cold we will miss those cooler breezy times where we never had to worry about being overheated by the hot hot heat and that's the thing so it is the way that it is but don't worry, winter will make its return somewhere, let's say, December? December? Maybe January, that depends on how the weather is going to do this year, but you know what? Let's just get right on going. There were people that were, you know, there are people who braved the cold. Oh, wait, waifus who braved the cold. Welcome to the waifus of gaming, Trevor Sayer. In Waifus of Gaming Traversaire, we explore the world of waifus in search of the finest waifus. Which waifu will catch our eye? Which waifu shall we explore from left and right? Should we explore every waifu in one sitting? Should we explore multiple in one sitting? Yeah, that actually sounds more reasonable. But which waifu is going to be getting her own episode of Waifus of Gaming? Those are the various mysteries that will appear and show up as we do more Traversaires in the future. So with that totally said, and today's Traversaire is going to be focused on waifus who aren't really bothered by the cold weather. No, I am not referencing that goddamn movie! So today, we explore the harshest, coldest climates in worlds of waifus and explore those who brave the cold. And this is a mysterious idea here because... Wait, this is a mysterious idea here? What the hell am I thinking? What am I even thinking? Okay, you know what? Let's get right on going. Let's get going. Let's go. Let's go journey. Let's go. Let's go on the traversaire and journey on. So let's go to the world of Ecocalypse. Eco huh. Or Ecocalypse. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think we'll go with Ecocalypse. But however, there is a new character that made her debut as a playable character. And of course, the finest edition. As a matter of fact, this mysterious lady is a solo target focused damage dealer. And boy oh boy, she goes by Mori. But there's many mysteries when it comes to Mori. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a horse girl. Because let's be honest here. Now, according to the Waifu profile in the Waifu Labs Lounge, Thank you for helping us out, Labs Lounge. We'll get more about them later. But however, Mori is an often chill and... Chill Kimono Mimi Waifu. Well, I am going to say the deadpan cuteness. I gotta like that deadpan cuteness to her. But as a matter of fact, it seems... Yeah, it just seems to be the case that she is a horse girl. I'm not the only person that's saying this here. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's take a look at Mori. Uh, she's got the horse ears, the horse tail... And basically, when it comes to her agility, this is something more of a... So yeah, this is definitely a horse girl. This is definitely a horse girl. But I will say, I will go ahead and say that uh, her outfit is a very skin tight. I think it's definitely thermal. Definitely thermal. 
It's really reflective of the figure when it comes to Mori. It really just shows what is so promising about Mori. And that is absolutely looking nice. We are talking about the great thighs. Oh yes, horse girl thighs, so thick. Great midriff and a wonderful chest. So, yes, things that go boing boing, but of course, thick horse thighs, the finest. And of course, gotta say, plus add in that deadpan beauty and cuteness to it. And yeah, gotta like her. Glad I was able to basically get her in the gotcha banners twice, but you know what? Enough beating around the bush, so let's get right on going. Oh! It seems that the Labs Lounge has got a couple of people from Outer Plane, in the world of Outer Plane. So let's check out the first person. Ah, Dahlia. This one is very interesting. This nice-looking Ice Queen. Wait a minute. Something's not right about this Ice Queen. Okay, well, this Ice Queen is known for sending a barrage of ice attacks. She is literally uh, winter herself, so... Oh, so that's what's going on. So essentially, she had her abilities essentially nerfed, and unfortunately is now in a weakened state. But however, so much in a weakened state where she could pretty much try... Well, she does a good job of pretty much acting menacing, but... She can get very serious and act serious, but at the same time, she's, uh, she's anxious. She has high anxiety. She's very nervous. So with that totally said, if she seems scary, don't worry about it. Like, if she says, you are in charge of guarding my sleeping quarters, what she actually means is, please protect me when I'm sleeping. If somebody got me in my sleep, it would be all over. This is actually me quoting from the video game. Yeah, this is Dahlia. Because of her weakened state... Weakened? My goodness. Because of her weakened state, she is... Uh, she ends up... She's actually nervous at the end of the day, so... Despite that serious presentation that she displays on to others, it is the way that it is. So, yeah. But I will say, Dahlia does have the finest thighs of an archdemon and the finest milkshake, or let's just say the finest frosty milkshake of an archdemon. So I will say, oh, also, the horns. This will definitely get you horny. It is the way that it is. So... At the end of the day, she does need a hug. She really does need a hug. But, however, she's scared of anybody even going near her, so that's another can of worms we gotta open. Wait a minute, who is that? Let's focus on her servant. Okay. Both of them have the thickest thighs, despite her servant having... Uh, oh, that's totally got right there. So, that's double the gat. Wait a minute. Is the internet terminology is beginning to rub off on me? But anyway, Regina seems to be the servant, but also a magician that loves to play tricks. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to want to be careful. She does seem to be a demon girl. Definitely a demon girl. I will say that. And she does know how to basically attack people with cards. But a solo target focused damage dealer at that will go with that. But I will go ahead and say, she does have some great magic tricks. But I'm pretty sure she will have some finest magic tricks that will, uh, you know, enlighten ya. Yeah. So, I will definitely say, thick magic thighs. But, we are talking about thick thighs, milky chest, what a really great midriff, and we are talking about the finest booty since Outer Plane likes, well, I don't know if it's Outer Plane or Regina herself. I think Regina herself is starting to say, hey, I got some gyat right there. For my next trick, I will show you the gyat. Okay, what is going on with the internet terminologies, guys? Okay, now, um, before the, uh... New terminologies begin to completely rub off on me and end up taking a toll over my overall state of thinking. 
But I will go ahead and say, uh, Regina has got the finest thighs. I will say, Dahlia's got the finest thighs. And I will say how Maury has the finest horse girl thighs. So with that totally said, I think it's all about the thigh game at the end of the day. And uh, I will say, boing. Things that go boing boing. So we did got plenty of boing boing and plenty of thick thighs that will definitely, definitely keep you warm throughout the winter. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. So, with that totally said, that about ends our journey in the Wife is a Gaming Traversaire. So, don't worry, there will be more Wife is a Gaming Traversaire coming around. Hell, Traversaire will even continue on to TikTok or YouTube shorts or both. It is the way that it is. So, with that totally said, that is all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out.